increased productivity drives down cost. Increased productivity makes you uh, able to finish the project more quickly and move on to something else. Uh, and so I would hope it's understood within the industry that you should take advantage of all the new technologies, the, the artificial intelligence, uh, robotics, and other ways of, of doing something. Um, I still see buildings that go up rather quickly, but in the few little construction projects I've been involved in, in my biz the business side of my life, uh, there's so much regulation and and other things that kind of hold back productivity. So it is not just the construction industry itself, but it is the environment in which they're operating that tends to, I think, slow down productivity. We've got embassies all over the world. Some are little, some are big. And I gotta get it under control. I've gotta try to figure out how we can standardize things that will work anywhere in the world. And what do we do when we get a really big project like the embassy in, in, in China or some of the other embassies that are huge? Iraq was one of the, the biggest. So we learned rather quickly, and it was General Williams was his name, and um, what we learned is that you can't really get this done unless you're in bed with the contractor, unless you're in bed with the engineers, unless you are working closely with them. And they understand your requirements, and you try to make your requirements firm up front and not a thousand yeah. changes as you go along. If you want to save money, that's the only way to yeah. do it. So um, I think it has to be approached as a partnership, that we're both in this together. Sure. You're doing it to make money. We're doing it because we need a facility, right. but we're using, you know, in, in my case, government money, people's yeah. money. And so just form a partnership, trust each other, and uh, make sure that you're trying to give the best product uh, the least cost and with, uh, uh, you know, meeting every standard that was set for the project. But above all, uh, helping everybody to get their job done. It's a team effort. One team, one fight. One building, one team. I've run into problems in some of the construction projects I've had to deal with where the neighbors in the area just didn't want it. And we should have anticipated that before we ever got started. We should have spent time not only drawing up plans and hiring construction workers, but somebody should have spoken to the neighbors. And one yeah. project that yeah. I was working on, we had, to, we had to get rid of it because we couldn't persuade the neighborhood that it was in their interest. It was yeah. a mistake on their part, but nevertheless, yeah. that's the way it is. They didn't want to see this, this detracting, this dis, uh, distracting piece attached to the building. And we thought we could persuade them. Um, we couldn't. So we had to give it up. So you really have to spend time at the front end. I, I always believe, when you, whether it's a battle or building a building, make sure you've done the front end work in the first place. And sure. you satisfy the NGOs and the non-financially sure. involved people. You don't want to find, about, find out about their problems no. later. No. You want it before and try to try to satisfy them before, not after or during. As I got more senior and had more staff and was responsible for more people, up to several million, uh, I always made it a point to do what I had to do in the seventh floor or whatever high or office I occupied, uh, looking out over the world to get out of there and get down and oh, see yeah. what's going on down in the basement. The State Department, I'd go into the boiler room to see what they're doing, uh, walk around the garage to see how they're getting all the cars in. Um, so if you want to really be a, a, a leader of such complex organizations, you have to set the stage and make sure that you're doing everything to give them the tools they need to get the job. And then you got to spend a good part of your time out walking the street to find out what they're doing and make sure that those at the lowest level see you from time to time.